we're going to be field testing a Gerber machete today. Last time I was out here in the woods, I got hung up on a vine. It was a very un unpleasant experience, so I decided to pick one of these up. First of all, we're going to take a look at the sheath. It's not bad. It's, uh, it's a nylon fabric, and it's got stainless steel studs in it. It's got a really nice Velcro. I guess if you call it like a lock or something to hold it in place. The only thing I don't like about it, it only has one strap, I guess, for your uh, belt. I like to keep it on my pack, so I was kind of hoping we'd have a couple more straps on here to hold that on there. But it's it's not bad. It's uh, definitely steeled. The blade is somewhat sharp. And it's got a serrated edge on here for like a saw blade for sawing. The only thing and another thing that concerns me is how flimsy it is. Curiously curious how uh, well it's going to cut some of the vines down. It's got a very very nice handle on it. It's got what they call I guess it's a gorilla grip. It's made out of uh, carbon fiber and it also comes with a lanyard which I highly suggest you use. Now they say to use it when it's raining or real wet out but I use it no matter what for just the simple fact that if you're a let me get this thing on real quick. If you're out cutting through the timber and doing some bushwhacking and your hands get sweaty or get tired, you might accidentally let go of the uh, machete. And uh, then you have to hunt for it or explain to it, explain to the guy in front of you why it's sticking in his back. And I'm sure that's going to make a very unpleasant hiking experience. So I'll tell you what, let's uh, do some field testing. I found a really nice dead tree over here that we can start chopping on. So let's give it a try and see what happens. Start with this piece. Wow, <laughs> that's pretty damn sharp. Yeah, we got one of them vines I got hung up on a while back. Not a problem. This looks like a challenge. You know what? Let's try the saw portion of this, see how that does. Yeah, definitely we're gonna try the saw portion out.
about let's say two and a half inches in diameter and it cut right through it. I'll be damned. Here's a vine. Go ahead and try this one. Man, I, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm really impressed. The flimsiness of the blade didn't affect the performance at all. The saw is just sharp as hell. And the blade's sharp too, and we've been beating on the trees. And I don't see any damage in the blade whatsoever. I definitely like the strap on there. I think the next thing we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna strap my pack on and we're gonna bushwhack it out of here down this hill and uh, I'll give you my thought my final thoughts on it Well, after bushwhacking my way out of the woods there, and I think the next investment's going to be some chaps because the damn prickly bush got me again. I'm going to give you my final opinion on opinion on the Gerber machete. I thought the flimsiness of the blade would uh, hurt the product, but didn't seem to uh, affect it at all. I found that if you cut towards the edge of the blade right here you get a better control of it and a deeper cut uh, the saw very sharp the handle had a great grip on it and uh, the my only thing that I have a dislike about let me grab the sheath real quick is the fact that the uh, sheath didn't have enough straps in there so you can hook it onto your pack so I'm going to have to put some buttons or sew something on there it fits on the uh, pack a lot better but uh all in all I'm amazingly surprised of uh, how well it worked I'm definitely gonna have to give this a 10 and uh, make this another another staple in my uh, backpack for day hikes or extended stay packing and as always thanks for watching Time for some bonus footage of where we shot from today. As you can see, the lake is definitely starting to freeze over a little bit. It's a beautiful day, though. I think the temperature is at least 35, 40 degrees. It's not bad. 
kind of wanting to hike into those pine trees over there. I haven't been over the data location and kind of take a look around and see what I got I can work with for the next video shoot. Yeah, pine trees there. There's the woods I just came out of. Pat, camera gear. All in all, I say I've had a great day of shooting.